Hey guys, I'm Tyler, and this is my kind of okay good friend Dustin over here. That's right, um, and then Brant is actually down somewhere this area, or maybe over here. Just kidding, he's not here. That asshole went to the beach with his wife, the nerve man. He, uh, when I messaged him, he said he was eating a giant cinnamon roll, and <sighs> what a dick, dude. What a son of a bitch. Anyways, we're here because we we're going to do this podcast talk show type thing. Just a couple dudes sitting around talking shit. Yeah, pretty stuff. much. We uh, got together about six months ago when we wanted decided we wanted to do like a little video project and we couldn't figure out exactly what we wanted to do. We started off trying to do skits and stuff, but that didn't really work because our schedules are kind of... They don't really match up so well. And we did actually film five or six skits, something like that. And then we learned we're both... Really terrible actors. Right, it was really bad. Some of them are actually kind of funny. I, I still think they're kind of funny. And we still might post them at some point, but... Uh, and whoever finds them wins $500. And that would be Monopoly money because we're both broke as shit. Um, but um, there's actually one on YouTube, so if you can find it, uh, that's one of the better ones, so if, well, don't judge us. Actually, go ahead if you want. So anyways, it kind of evolved into this little podcast talk uh, talk show type thing. Yeah, it, it works with our schedule a lot better. So we're what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about subjects. It's either something I want to talk about, what this handsome fellow wants to talk about. Brent wants to talk about, but normally he wants to talk about guys with their shirts off, and we're not really too yeah, comfortable Yeah, we don't like that much. And I mean, it can range from, you know, serious subjects and not serious subjects, things that happened to him or me or Brent and... Just even just video whatever. games, movies, just whatever. We're just going to talk. Or eventually whatever you guys want us to talk about. And like uh, on the politics thing, we kind of talked and we don't really want to talk about that very often because it's kind of divisive and stuff. And But we still we have a voice and we want to use that. And uh, as, even though we don't want to do very much, today is actually the first episode is going to be about politics. And warning, we're both conservatives over here. Yeah. But I mean, it's... We still have a voice, and if you disagree with us, you're stupid, obviously, but... I will say we are both very open-minded, though. We are, yeah. You're not stupid, but I think you are. And that's fine, because you might think that I'm stupid for the things I say, and that's perfectly fine. So, whatever. Um, um, we're just going to stuff you guys with a bunch of just topics. Yeah, that's the, the main objective is just to get you guys stuffed. You know what? That's what we should call our show. Stuffed. stuffed. Wow, that was total, totally organic. It was. Not choppy at all. <laughs> so guys, welcome to Stuffed. So, unless you've been living under a rock or been in outer space, you've heard about the Donald Trump grab him by the pussy comments. I have not heard Donald Drunk say anything. Donald like Drunk. <laughs> before. This is not a drunk show. We don't get drunk. I just kind of slur my words sometimes because I'm <laughs> mentally retarded. Can you say that? Is that politically correct? See, I'm slurring again. I don't know and I don't care. Anyways, in case you haven't heard, he there's a... Set it up for him. You tell him. It was a video leaked that was a private video between two grown adults, men... I think it was like Access Hollywood or one of those stupid celebrity shows. And it was Billy Bush and Donald... I almost said Donald Drunk. Look what you're making me do. Donald Trump, where he said some offensive things towards women, basically sexually assaulting women, which is not accurate at all. And he said something along the lines like what, he grabs him by the pussy or something. He... I don't know the exact words. I mean, I, I'm sure you do. You can look it up if not. But he alluded to the fact that since he's so rich and powerful that his influence allows him to grab them by the pussy because or do whatever he wants to him. He and specifically... I will fact check this. When you're rich and powerful or a celebrity, it's probably true. Right. <laughs> if you need any kind of um, examples, the one that you said the other day was Kanye West's song about it, the Gold Digger song. You know, I'm not saying that she's a gold digger, but I'm not seeing her with someone who doesn't have any money, essentially. I can't say the word because I'm white, and that's another thing. But you get the drift, and I'm sure you've heard the song. So, um, the main thing that I want to start off with on this is it's making me, it's so laughable, it's so ridiculous, is all these uh, athletes are coming on ESPN, 
and saying, oh, we don't talk about that in my locker room. You don't really. I'm just going to use the first example that comes off the top of my head. It's about six or seven years ago, the Minnesota Vikings, um, they got a whore boat. In case you don't know what a whore boat is, they chartered a boat, filled a full of strippers, and paid them to have sex with them. I, over didn't, I over. didn't think that's what it was at all. Uh, what did you think it was? Like an ice cream social? Yeah, I thought it was a, you know, ice cream social and talking so, shit. Obviously, that's an outlier, and that's a bit extreme. So but that's like the most extreme example that I can think of off the top of my head right away, despite all some of the players who might rape women and stuff like that. But that is the culture of, of men is... At the very least, they say bad things. Yeah, like I see on comments on social media all the time is, my husband or boyfriend, they never talk like that. They're respectful. They may be respectful. Don't, don't get me wrong. A lot of men are respectful. But when they're with their friends, they still talk that way. Like, I will say I've said stuff like that before, and I know you say that to me all the time. Well, yeah. See, the thing is, I don't say specifically those combination of words, which I think are hilarious. I, I think it's funny, too. I, it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> of all the things to say that you like to do, like, you know, you can say, I'm grab him by the pussy. I'm 100% sure if that was his tagline when he first started running for president, you would have been 100% behind him the whole time. Right. It's... <laughs> I mean, it's it's ridiculous. But back to the whole, like, you know, your husband or whatever. Men, they either do that because it's, you know, they men just talk about women that way or they're trying to upshow another man because men have to be men. Right. And the thing about it is a lot of women like it because the reason why you most women like men is because they're different. They're the opposite. That's the way it's meant to be. You don't want some... Most women don't want some little wimp guy... Some, well, besides me, of course, I got lucky. But they want someone rugged and tough, and they don't necessarily care about the things they say. Unless it's like, you know, like atrocious, which what Trump said is pretty bad, but it's it's just words. It's just banter. And it's it was private. Talk. It's private. It was a private conversation that should have never been released. And then, like, what, what basically, another thing that we, we hate about this is the uh, liberal uh, media. Like on The View, tell them about The View. The View, Joy Behart saying that Clinton's uh, victims of rape and sexual assault are tramps. And that is also pretty much what Hillary did, was attack the victims, which is far worse than saying words. Right, and then, so to be fair, she did, uh, Joy Behart did uh, give an apology, I think the next day actually. But it, go look it up. It's pretty disingenuous. I heard it one time, the audio clip, and I just remember being, wow, how did she get away with this? So, excuse me. The main point, at least for me, is what I want to make is, okay, at the very worst, Trump is a misogynist pig, which you're all claiming. I don't agree with that. I think it was more just guy talk, and guys are kind of inherently that way. Not everybody. Some guys are gay. Just kidding. It's a joke. Um... <laughs> So at the very best, it was just guy talk. At the very worst, he's a misogynist pig. Um, but even at the very worst, it's still not sexual assault because a it was hypothetical. B there's no victim, and C there's no there's no outcry of any victims originally. Um, now someone has come out and said that, but that's been shot full of so many holes um, that it's not even worth bringing up. It's like the, the beginning of RoboCop. That's how many holes. Yeah, like shot through. just <laughs> obliterated. <laughs> Um, so at the very, once again, the very best guy talk, very worst massage the pig. Now you compare that to, and if you don't want to vote for Trump for that reason, that's fine. We have no problem with that. You vote for who you want. Um, but if you're going to say that at the same time, you can't vote for Hillary Clinton because at the very best, she, uh, went along with what her husband did, let, knew that he was a womanizer, womanized woman. Uh, in the middle somewhere, she dragged those women's names through the mud. And at the very uh, it, worst end of it, she knew about the rape, didn't report the rape, intimidated the rape victim, dragged her name through the mud. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, it's Juanita Broderick. Google it. Breitbart, I believe, did a uh, recent interview. Watch the video if you don't believe it. If you watch that video and you don't believe it, you didn't actually watch the video because there's no way that you can watch that and not know, not believe what she said. I haven't personally seen it, to be honest with you. Yeah, but... But I should. Yeah, watch it. Um, 
it's her, her story hasn't changed in 30 years. If you're going to lie, you're going to slip up once or twice. She's never, her story has not changed one bit. And if you go through something like that, it stays with you and you will always constantly remember. Yeah, like every time I assault him, he remembers every time. That is a lot. Yeah, happens quite often. But, um, so yeah, that's, that's the thing, is at the very worst, Trump is misogynist, at the very best, Clinton is allow that to happen so it's kind of the same thing so if you don't want to vote for Trump that's fine because of that that's your right but you're a hypocritical piece of shit if you vote for Clinton at the same time while citing the other one about Trump and if you have a problem comment in our video and maybe we'll respond to it in our next video um, do you have anything else on this topic just the celebrities that are speaking out against you know him attacking women and stuff it's really Annoy like especially people like Miley Cyrus who go around on the shows all the time dressing ridiculously and getting humped by Alan Thicke Jr. on stage and they want to get mad about oh they're saying things about yeah. women. Here's the thing: if you want to be Miley Cyrus and do Miley, Miley Cyrus type things, you cannot be our society's moral authority. That is so fucking ridiculous. You know, if you want to go and lick a ball and chain in your fucking panties, you can do that. That's how our society's set up. It's fucking stupid, but whatever, you know. Freedom of speech, awesome. Um, but I don't want to hear about your uh, moral convictions when you go around and do things like that. That's fucking stupid as shit. It goes along with the athletes like we talked earlier. Or allowing rappers to visit the White House and their lyrics talk about sexually assaulting women all the time and even murdering women. Right. There's a NWA song uh, where they talk about gang raping a 15-year-old, I believe. And these are the types of people that the Clintons um, invite into their White House. The Obamas. Oh, the Obamas, I'm sorry. Um, same thing, you know. Anyways, um, so... My, the takeaway I want you to have, if you're, if you're obviously decided, don't worry. Just watch the video and... Like it if you like what we say and dislike it if you don't. I don't really give a shit. But if you're kind of undecided, <laughs> that's true. If you're kind of undecided, um, I want you to, to think about this. What, no matter who you vote for, you're actually going to have to live with them. If you're never Trumper, like conservative, and you're going to vote for Johnson, you have to live with the fact that you're going to help Hillary Clinton get elected. Now, I know that might not be what people think, you know. You, all votes count. Sure they do, but realistically, probably not. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, nothing against Trump has actually been su substantiated except for the fact that he says mean things. Clinton, I guess you can technically say the same thing, but it's way worse, and there's so many accusers, so many misdeeds. I mean, just look at the WikiLeak dumps, which is not being covered by the news. How is that not being covered by the news? Because... Right. I mean, we, we don't want to get too far into left versus right, uh, but we just want to talk specifically on this issue. Just So just remember, whoever you vote for, you're going to have to live with. So if you want to take the high road and say, oh, I didn't vote for Trump or Clinton, blah, 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 just vote for Trump. And, um, you know, you can say that you didn't. If you need to do that, that's fine. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you need to do, right? Um, so that's kind of where we line up on this. We're sick of the hypocrisy. It's um, very one-sided. We're sick of, like... We wouldn't be so angry if it wasn't so one-sided. Right, it's ridiculous. It's so not even fair. Now, I don't really care. I mean, political correctness, I'm not... I, I don't want you to call somebody a name based upon their race, something like that. That's, like, ridiculous. But when you're doing political correctness just to fucking piss somebody off or just to be an asshole, like, that's where we don't... That's where I don't like it, at least. That's kind of... It kind of goes... Everything against Trump is just political correctness. Gone. Yeah. Run them up. And also just the people who are also... It kind of works on the same subject. Where Trump brought Clinton's victims there. And liberals are getting mad saying how dare him use victims of sexual assault as a political agenda. Well, guess what? Using that video of Trump saying something that's supposedly sexual assault... For a political agenda, it's the same exact thing. <laughs> it's the same thing, except for he's actually trying to get their story out. What, what if you were as, you know, pure as you act like you are, 
Why? What do you have against them having their voice and having their story told to everybody? Shouldn't everybody have heard that story? Or do you not want that story out? You want to suppress it. You, you can't... Morality is not... It, it is what it is. You can't... It's not subjective. It's... It is what it is. It, you can't go one way and another. It has to be right down the middle, black and white. There's no gray to it. So that's what we're saying. Um, so that's kind of our first video, right? you have anything else to add? I, I just think it's hilarious what he said, to be honest. Yeah, it's... it's Everything aside, like, just... Like I said, the specific combination of the words are just insane. Like, how do you... <laughs> do that. I, I get sometimes you, you're struggling trying to think of words, and he actually does that a lot. You can tell he's trying to like think of a word, and he keeps using what's the word he always uses? Like stupendous? No, it's not stupendous. Something like that. I don't remember. It, it's like some word, basically. So I, I see that's kind of his pattern. But how do you come up with that combination of words? It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Crap about the sea. So, uh, anyways, I hope you liked our first episode. This is going to be about as. Um, serious as it's going to get we like to be more lighthearted talk about video games some sports some music he likes shitty bands like Weezer so we're going to try not to talk actually yeah. I Weezer I'm just giving him shit we there's going to be serious subjects and not like politically serious like there's uh, cancer or something yeah whatever <laughs> um, Halloween's coming up maybe we'll do like a ghost story episode or something yeah um, so speaking of ghost stories, all those ghosts that are going to vote Democrat on November eighth, <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> I think Hillary Clinton's an actual necromancer. She can control the dead and have them vote for her. That's pretty impressive. All of New Orleans are going to be <laughs> voted for Hillary just so they don't get cursed, right? So, anyways, hope you guys like it. Next time, maybe we'll have a big sexy Brent in the middle of us, new Brent sandwich. Anyways, uh, and maybe for- I'll grab a ride in the pussy. <laughs> Thanks for commenting or for watching. Comment if you want. If you have a hilariously bad take, we will we'll probably make fun of you and link it in your name. We can block your name out if you don't want it in there. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and we subscribe. Will subscribe, yes. So, I'll do what they did down below. I don't know what, where it's going to be at. Somewhere over here. Probably right here. But uh, yeah, so give us money. Thanks. That's, That's it. it.